What's up, Pirate Nation? David Heim here alongside John Pierceau. It's at the Prudential Center where the Seton Hall Pirates just defeated the Troy Trojans 78-69. John, what did you see in tonight's victory? Well, it was a funny game from the Pirates because they got off to a hot start with a big lead. They went on an 11-0 run in the first half. Then Troy came back. They shot the lights out over Seton Hall. The Pirates were not closing out on the perimeter. Troy got really hot from downtown, and the Pirates got themselves in a hole because of it. But they were able to battle back, and Angel Delgado came out strong in the second half. That really helped the Pirates uh, to a victory. Yeah, the narrative of the first half for the Pirates tonight was they had an early lead, they lost the lead, they regained the lead, and they really didn't look back in the second half. I want to talk more about uh, Desi Rodriguez and what he was able to do for the Pirates tonight. Uh, 18 points uh, for the Pirates, a couple of dunks that we might see on Fox Sports 1. Uh, normally we talk about Isaiah Whitehead in the offense, but what did you see from Desi tonight? Well, the thing with Desi Rodriguez, David, is that he's another kind of slasher like Hedy Carrington. He's able to get the ball on the perimeter and really slash into the lane, make something happen. He can dish it off to a big guy like Angel Delgado with Shinovo and Michael Enzi. And he's also capable of shooting a jump shot. He's not afraid to shoot. So he really worked hard in the offseason. He got a lot better. And he's really become a versatile player because he can play outside and he can play inside. Now, we still have to talk about Isaiah Wade and what he means for this offense. 20 points, 7 assists. What did you like from him tonight? Well, first of all, the 7 assists is definitely what you have to like because whenever your point guard, the leader of the team, is getting other players to score, that's always a positive. But what I didn't like from Isaiah tonight, sure, he had 20 points, but he was 6 for 20 shooting. That's a very low percentage, and he has to do better than that. He saw that he was cold at times, and I thought he got a little crazy when it came to the outside jump shot. Yeah, 6 of 20 shooting tonight. You try to, you'd like to see some better shot selections from him. And, kind of wild with the shot selections at times tonight, especially driving through the lane. But when these two guys are getting to go, and Isaiah Whitehead and Desi Rodriguez, we've seen Desi have some spot good games this season. Isaiah seems to be on every game for the Pirates. When those two are working, how much better is this offense? Well, here's the thing. Kadeem Carrington is almost like an unsung hero. He's yeah. been very hot. He only had 11 points tonight, but before tonight, he had three straight games where he averaged 20 points in those three games. So he's been almost untalked. He hasn't really been talked yeah. about in the past few games. So when those three are on their game, the Pirates really have a dynamic trio there because you have Isaiah Whitehead and Kadeen Carrington as guards that can get into the lane, as well as Desi Rodriguez, but he's taller than the two of them. So he's a really tough guy to defend. Our very own Dylan Schreibman caught up with Isaiah Whitehead and Desi Rodriguez. Dylan? I am here with Isaiah Whitehead. Isaiah, 20 points tonight. You came out on fire in the first half with 10 points, leading the team in scoring. What was the key to success early? Uh, just trying to pick it up on the uh, offensive end uh, for my team. We were struggling, so just try to put as much points on the board uh, and also just get everyone involved and try to get easy shots. You led the team with seven assists tonight. What was the key to getting everyone involved? Uh, just as I continued scoring and scoring and scoring, uh, the defense kind of keyed on me, so there was a lot of guys open, and I just made the right play and just hit them. And Coach Kevin Miller talked about you playing within the offense. What have you been doing to help you with that? Uh, just just like you said, just playing within the offense during practice, uh, just trying not to force things, uh, and just just trying to trust my teammates and just just knowing that they're going to make the right decision. All right, thank you so much. I'm here with Desi Rodriguez. Desi, 18 points, 11 rebounds tonight. Another strong effort, another double-double, but your team especially strong tonight. All five starters in double figures. What helps with the balance of the team, especially late in that first half? Uh, Coach always say when we practice, we play good. So. Um, I think this whole week we had a, a great practice. We practiced great, we practiced hard on the defensive end. And um, I don't think we broke our, our, our defensive intensity today, but we definitely want to get better now, work on it in practice and get better now for next game. And Coach Kevin Miller is talking about how you've been adapting to the transition to the wing. How's that been going for you? You looked great tonight. Uh, it, it's been going great. Me, I'm spacing the floor, having confidence in my shot, uh, me driving the ball and finding my teammates. Um, just, just me worried about um, defensive, defensively at the three spot, um, switching on screens, um, guarding screens, switching on pick and rolls. So it, that's, I'm, I'm adapted to it well. And what can you guys do to prepare even more for St. Peter's on Sunday? Uh, just get into practice, watch film, uh, and, ju and just compete against each other. Um, I know St. Peter's a good team, and Troy was a good team, very scrappy today, and they came and brought an A game. So we got to um, use that to our advantage and work hard the next game and get another W. All right, thank you so much. So, John, both Isaiah and Desi mentioned tonight the offense as a whole getting going. All five starters in double figures. How important was that for the Pirates tonight? Well, they didn't score off the bench, only seven bench points. So they really need the starting lineup to pick up the slack, which they did tonight. And it shows that even when the bench does score, because they still have Derek Gordon veersing off the bench, they have the capability to score. 
but when they don't, you don't know where the attack is going to come from because Isaiah Whitehead can score 20 points, Kitty Carrington can score 20 points, Desi Rodriguez, a showstopper with some of these monstrous dunks, he can score 15 to 20. So you just don't know where the attack is going to come from within the starting lineup. I'm sure Coach Kevin Willard liked what he saw from the offense tonight. It's definitely something that his Pirates can take into the season moving forward. From here, the 7-2 and two Pirates will take on St. Peter's on Sunday at 1230. For John Piersos, I'm David Heim. Take care, everyone.